The Seton High School UAV Specialist Program is South Australia's first integrated program combining Stage 1 Geography and Scientific Studies and Stage 2 Control Technology, all framed around UAV application in industry. We've rethought SACE and what we've realised is that it's more engaging for students and teachers. It provides the students with the real world integrated projects instead of work that's confined to just one subject area. A program where students have excelled in many other subjects and have shown interest in STEAM. I applied for the Seton UAV program because I was fairly interested in the idea of working with drones. The UAV program is a course where we study uh, drone use and drone technology. Right now we're studying the use of drones in the agriculture industry. The Seton High School UAV Specialist Program has many connections with industry. We've got the University of Adelaide, government departments and local UAV businesses. So I started off working in the defence and IT industry in Adelaide and then after a few years of doing that I was able to get um, some experience together both with business and drones and so I was able to split off and start working for myself in my own consultancy. My work with drones has been pretty broad. I've been lucky enough to work um, with defence drones and then also in the civilian sector where I've worked in training and also with scientists uh, who do things like track environmental problems with drones. Working with the Seton UAV program has been an excellent opportunity to see how we take the latest technology which is available to everyone and how students are able to use that technology to explore what they can do technically and what they can do entrepreneurially. I think it's amazing the technology, it's come so far and it's um, really interesting to see what sort of jobs you can get. By completing the UAV program, students are equipped with the skills to run their own business. They graduate from the program with an industry standard remote pilot's license and aeronautical radio operator's certificate. They also learn how to meet the needs of potential clients when it comes to the agricultural and surveying applications of UAVs. The mentorship of the industry connections allows students to comprehend the realities of starting their own UAV business and what it's like to use UAVs when working in research science. Drones are increasingly being used in a whole range of industries in Australia, so having the REPL certificate means that you've got career options in a whole lot of different fields, everything from mining to sports to surveying and also importantly a lot of environmental causes as well. UAVs are a really important emerging industry in Australia. Here we have a large amount of area that needs to be covered and often very scarce or very expensive manpower. Drones are basically robots in the sky and they allow us to cover a lot of area in a very short amount of time with very few people, giving us a big advantage in industry. It's been a really positive thing for me seeing how high school students are able to work together and work with the latest technology and come up with great solutions. I'm really impressed at the level of skill that they've been able to bring to this project. I'm Sarah Baker, I'm the manager of the Advanced Technology Program, which is part of the Defence Industry STEM and Skilling Strategy. And our goals are to inspire more students to take up and stay on STEM pathways and take up the opportunities in South Australia that are available within defence industries, which our main areas are space, cybersecurity, advanced manufacturing and shipbuilding. And we're really happy that Seton High School are really focusing on aerospace and space, as these industries have a lot of career pathways available for our students and they're inspiring their students to take up more STEM pathways. It definitely has made me consider different jobs I could take going around and helping people mapping or even uh, like we're doing with the African Vox Thorn project to help the environment. What I really love about this project is that students can use the engineering design cycle to solve real world problems. They engineer solutions and undertake missions to engage with these contexts and use CAD software and 3D printers to bring their designs to life. The important skills for students to pick up in this program is really the skill of working together in a team to solve problems and make systems. If they can get their head around those skills, then they'll have great career opportunities in a whole range of areas. So basically the African box thorn is a weed of national significance. What we're trying to do, we're trying to eradicate that through use of UAVs. We're going to get a UAV and plan a mission to fly over the areas that we know has a lot of box thorns and then take a bunch of images and use post-processing to stitch together the images to make a map and then identify exactly where each box thorn is located. Then we can do a second mission where we fly over these areas where the box thorns were found to be located and drop some herbicide on it to eradicate them. And we'll drop it using a hopper deploy mechanism, which we are designing ourselves. 
I think that's really rewarding for the project to have an actual end goal. It makes everything a little bit more worthwhile and it's a really awesome project to be involved with.